What's up, everyone? It is Thursday, March 28th, and today is Cincinnati Reds opening day. This is a holiday in this city, and this year there's a little bit more excitement because the Reds have made a lot of offseason moves, added some players, and I think they're going to have a pretty good team this year. And the Reds are actually celebrating their 150th anniversary. Uh, professional baseball started in Cincinnati in 1869. We had the first professional baseball team. They were called the Red Stockings back then. And it is a beautiful day. It's going to be sunny today. It's a little cloudy now, but it's going to get up to like 65 degrees. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're not going to today's game. We're actually going to Saturday's game. Uh, my wife, Whitney, is pregnant uh, with our second child, and she's due in like three weeks, and the crowd down there is going to be pretty crazy. So I don't think we were up for going this year, but probably next year. There are also a couple of garage sales today that I'm going to go hit. A little bit of a drive. It's like 30 minutes away, but there's two that are fairly close together that I'm hoping to have some stuff. Um, I'm also planning on going to some garage sales tomorrow. Maybe a couple on Saturday before we go down to the game. I'll we'll have to wait and see. So I will probably just um, lump all that footage into one video. So we'll see. Let's uh, go see what we can find. Just stumbled upon a bonus sale. Saw that sign as I was passing by. So we're gonna go check it out. Do a little chasing. I usually don't like to chase signs, but when there's only a couple of yard sales to go to anyways, I'm gonna check it out. Here's another sign, so. Let's just hope there are more signs to follow. There's nothing worse than like turning down a street, following a sign, and then there's no more signs to follow. You're just aimlessly driving around, looking at people's garages like, is that is that the sale? Are they having a sale? Is their garage open? Where's the sale? Especially when there's no street names on the signs. That one did not have a street name. Uh-oh, all right, come up on a dead end. But I think I see the sale. All right, here we go. Looks like they got a lot of stuff. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing well. How much are your bats? Um. Everything was donated and all the proceeds go for the animals. Okay, cool. My neighbor brought it. He brought some of this stuff, but this is a camping cooler. Oh, and I guess neat. you plug it in yeah. and you put ice in there and then it blows the cool air out. Very cool. That's what I thought too. Huh. I don't camp, honey. I'm too old How much are the video games and stuff? I don't know. What would you give me for it, honey? How about 10 for the box? How about 15 for two games? 15. They may work, and if they don't work, bring it back and I'll give you, you know. I'll do the 15. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And um, what did you I want for your... I don't even know how to hook something up. What did you want for the baseball? That's fine, yeah. So I'm up to 19. Okay. I'll keep looking around. Alright guys, I spent $22 at that sale. Got this 
Grateful Dead uh, metal sign. It's definitely a reproduction, but still cool. Actually, 1996, so technically vintage. Um, got a whole box of video games. A couple PS2 Slims in here. GameCube controller. Pretty crusty. Definitely need to do some cleaning of these things. I got the sign I thought was kind of funny. Toilet water inferior to cologne. It says 1945. Got this softball bat. I've sold this one before, and I think I got pretty good money for it, if I'm not mistaken. This TPS Power Dome is a good one to look for. Here is an autographed baseball by Joe Morgan. It's um, personalized, so that hurts the value a little bit. Got this uh, vintage Ever Ready flashlight. Never seen one with that really big cone on top, so I thought that was cool. And then I got this little Sapporo beer patch. So, not too bad. I didn't really get to film any um, inside the garage. Um, she had her eyes on me kind of the whole time, so I just didn't risk it. But I did get uh, an ink cartridge. Um, she was asking three, I uh, offered two, and she took it. It's an HP 564, and it expired August 2018, so it's only like six months expired. I do really well with these, but you got to be careful on the expiration date. If it's more than like two or three years expired, they're really, really hard to sell. Um, but I didn't look it up. I'm guessing probably 10, 15 bucks for this thing. All right, this next one, I'm at, it's a little bit different. Um, it says spring clean out at Tegatron Inc. We have new and used items, houseware, collectibles, so I guess it's like in a warehouse. I'm intrigued. Well, they didn't have a whole lot. They had some Atari games that were a dollar each, um, but nothing super special. And I am now done garage for today. Uh, but I'll be doing some tomorrow and hopefully some Saturday too. So I'll get some footage of that. Just picked this up for $3. It is a Tech Deck Tony Hawk uh, Trick Street Skate Park and had a bunch of figures in it. Um, comps looked pretty good. Looks like out of the box they were selling for like 20 to 30. So I think I should do pretty good with this. I've never sold the Tech Deck stuff, but I've heard that there's a decent market for it. All right, I picked up a couple things at that sale. I got this um, Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution game for a couple bucks. It should sell for about 10. I got this car handbag holder, um, brand new for a dollar. I think that should sell for about 20. I got this um, disc washer. I am pretty sure this is for uh, vinyl records. Cleaning vinyl records. Kind of neat. It's only a buck. And I got a vintage like Coleman thermos, like water jug for a dollar. And I'm pretty sure on the bottom here it says 78. I think that means it's from 1978 because all the Coleman lanterns are dated like that on the bottom. There is one more sale left I'm going to hit and then I'm done for the Well, I just stumbled upon a bonus church sale. So I've been to this one. They do it once or twice a year. And I think I've done pretty good before, so let's see what they got. Yeah. 
That was a pretty good stop. Got some cookies for a dollar. Got this um, Joe Tiller autographed football. It's a, uh, it's a Purdue football. He was a Purdue coach and he passed away a couple years ago. I paid 10 for it. Probably too much, but I don't know. I might get 20 or 30. Got this little Guitar Hero DS game for a buck. I just thought this guy was cool. An old troll doll with uh, roller blades on. I thought that was neat. 50 cents. Got Darcy a Cincinnati red shirt. I got ugly Christmas sweater for three bucks. And I got this Patagonia quarter zip for three dollars. Only bad thing is it's got this embroidery on it. But I hardly ever find Patagonia, so I couldn't pass it up. What's up, guys? It is now Saturday, March 30th, and the whole family is going to the Reds game today. But first, first garage sale. Yeah, there's a garage sale a few miles from our house that we're going to hit, and then we're going down to the Reds game. And today is what they call kids opening day, so they do a parade before the game with, like, the players and the mascots and everything, so we're going to go down to that. It's basically for uh, lame parents who still want to act like they have a life yeah that's stuff. us yeah is our yeah. neighbor um the weather does not look good it's basically 100 percent chance of rain and thunderstorms all day so we're hoping the game doesn't get canceled but it's pretty likely but we're going down anyways it'll for the parade yeah it'll be fun yeah the parades are doing indoors so and the garage sale we're going to is a radio personality yeah Jen from Q102. Yeah, so one of the like milder pop stations, I guess. Is what you're Mild pop. Mild pop? I don't Q02. know. What, <laughs> what do they call it? It's like, like today's just pop. Hits. Yeah, today's hits. No, because that's like Kiss 107. Yeah, that's basically the same. They don't no. play any old stuff. It's like in between like the kids' music and the old people music. That's like where this radio personality works. It's a tweener. Yeah. Ready to go to the Reds game? Yeah. Say go Reds. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it says event. I like the rainbow. You sure this is the right event? Well, that one sign said Jen's garage sale. I like the Happiness is just around the corner. It's a great garage sale sign. Yeah. <laughs> This is like a nice neighborhood. They got golf carts and stuff. No, it's over here. No. Yep. That's not the thing. That's something else. Some nice houses back in here. Holy mother of God. I think it's right there. So, when you're a radio DJ and you have a garage sale, it is an event. There are big signs. They've got three guys out here working. I got golf carts. It's in this humongous it's yeah, event center. It's, it's a pretty big production. Hey, here's that classroom thing that Dad has. Yeah. That's what's cool. Oh, I see three dollar, three dollar table. Okay, so we'll have to look and see how much it was. Holy crap! Look at this cookie roll pop. Hey, grab that bobblehead. The bobblehead. Cool. That's crazy. 
I should have brought the IKEA bags. It's a fail on my part. I wish that worked. That's like an actual cat in the hat hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really neat. That is neat. Are you sure there's one in the market for that? There might be. Well, that was an awesome sale. Spent like 70 bucks. Got a lot of really good stuff. I spotted a uh, Gapper bobblehead. That's a mascot for the Reds. It was on the dollar table, and I couldn't reach it. And I'm like, Whitney, grab that bobblehead. It sells for $100 started pouring down the rain so I am gonna go pick up Darcy and Whitney and I got an umbrella I can bring them so I don't know if I can drive right up to where they're at but yeah I just started pouring down the rain so this property uh, is a big farm and I guess the lady that owned all the land sold it and they have kind of turned it into like a community but yeah they also do like farmers markets and stuff here but this land is just gorgeous so what do you think about that sale? Um, I think that they use the radio personality connection <laughs> to sell their stuff. Like it was a lot of other people's it stuff. It was a lot, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it was a good sale. They had a lot of stuff. Some stuff was priced super cheap, and other stuff was priced super high. So I'm a little salty because after they were counting up all of our stuff, and we were honest, when she was going to give us something for three dollars and we said no that was on the five dollar table yeah because nothing was like price it was like different tables different tables it's a terrible strategy for having here so. total honor system and i'm i was like you know okay no it was five dollars yeah then it, our total came up to 52 dollars, and i said can we make, just make it 50 and she looked at me like she didn't know what i said <laughs> and then she said 52 dollars, and i was like Alrighty then, no whatever. negotiation. <laughs> um, so, you know, whatever. Darcy's got money. <laughs> At least somebody's got money. I just felt like that was a little, like $2 when you're rounding down to 50. Yeah. Like, that's not the thing. I don't mean to be like judgmental, but like, there was probably 10 women running the thing. And I just kind of got this sense from all of them that they just felt they were like above. Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I they don't shop sense. at garage sales and like, I don't know, like. Oh, I didn't get that sense, but yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I got that. a very like popular girls oh. vibe. Yeah. I did not notice. I was too focused on the deals. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of crazy because there was a lot of people in there and like we're juggling Darcy. She did really good though. She did really good. And like they had like aisles of tables. Which with my belly, I yeah. nobody could get past me. So when he was in one aisle and I was in another aisle, and oh, I saw yeah. that bobblehead on the dollar table, I was like, grab that bobblehead! Yeah, as I'm like s trying to sneak through a table, yeah. grab that bobblehead! I'm like, ah! <laughs> Here's everything we got um, at that sale. Spent about 70 bucks. Actually, there's a couple things in the van I still haven't brought in that I'll show you guys later. Um, got this little Play-Doh thing that's new for a dollar. Got this um, Wilson A350 glove for five. <clears throat> got a sealed Quelf board game. Got a uh, water filter system. I always do really good with these. Got a sealed audio book on CD. <clears throat> this is a um, Great American Ballpark replica for the Reds play. This is the uh, Cincinnati Museum Center snow globe. I thought that was kind of neat. 
Um, here is a bat and ball we got for Darcy. Got this autographed baseball for three bucks. I'm honestly not sure who that is, but I'll figure it out. It's on an official Major League ball too, which is cool. This is the uh, valuable bobblehead I was telling you guys about. So we paid a dollar for that. I sold this exact one a few months ago for a hundred bucks. The uh, the writing on the front, I think I can get that off if I do a dry if I just write over it with a dry erase marker and then wipe it off. It should come right off. Got a little Red's Garden Gnome thing for a front yard, and Whitney got a new dress with tags, and then we got this for Darcy. Like a little schoolhouse tin with a bunch of magnetic letters and stuff. Pretty neat. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.